Hey guys, so today we are back on site at this York unit um, about uh, roughly two weeks ago now, maybe a week ago. I had an ignition board fail in this unit and it won't go into cool mode because the main control board is getting a signal from the ignition control board saying that one of the thermal limits is, is tripped. Um, the ignition control board is bad, so I was able to just bypass the main control board by hijacking 24 volts, routing it through their thermostat through my, through my pressure switches and then into the contactor coil for my cooling. Um, so today I'm just going to remove my temporary repair and I'm going to install this ignition control board and get this unit up and running properly. Now, while I was doing this, I came upon this unit, which is equipped with an optional power exhaust, a power ventilator, power exhaust, whatever you want to call it. Now, if you look down there, when I first got here, I noticed the, the door was really hard to open. I didn't really think anything of it until I came up here and I seen that this power ventilator is on. So essentially, we have an exhaust in the building right now. So this is sucking air from downstairs and blowing it outside, creating a negative pressure inside the building, which was the reason why the door was so hard to open. Um, so I am going to delve into this unit real quick and see what's causing that power exhaust to be on right now. As far as I know, there's no um, pressure sensors set up downstairs. This building doesn't seem to be equipped with any sort of barometric pressure sensors that tell tell the unit when it's under positive or negative pressure. So I'm not real sure how that's set up yet, but uh, I'm gonna delve into that real quick and see if we can't fix that, set it up properly. And uh, I'll bring you guys along for the ride because this is sort of a new one for me. I don't see too many of these around my area. As you can tell, our power exhaust is now turned off. Um, let me show you what I what I did here. So I had to bust out the manual, kind of read up on some stuff. I'm not real familiar with these power exhausts, so if anybody watching is familiar with these, please leave me some comments, some tips, some advice. Um, this is I don't know, maybe the second one I've ever seen on a rooftop, but luckily I found a manual. So according to the manual, the power exhaust um, comes on when the economizer dampener position is at a certain percentage, right? Um, so I, I got to looking at my economizer control board and I noticed that it was set, this minimum position right here was actually set to the maximum position. My free cool was set to A, which is I believe 73 degrees. Um, I set it to D for about 63 degrees. That's just kind of what I've always been told to set it at in Michigan here anyway. Um, we don't want free cooling unless it's you know, 60 degrees outside during the fall months. Um, so looking at this exhaust set point, it was set to two, two volts DC. My minimum position sensor was set all the way open. Um, and also my minimum position set, the set point was all the way open, but my economizer damper was closed all the way. So I believe there was a problem with the set points. Um, and again, I'm not real familiar with these. So I adjusted my minimum set point to its lowest setting. And then I adjusted my uh, power ventilator set point to the 10 volt signal. Um, Cause I read over here, uh, blah, 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 with two volts DC corresponding to full closed and 10 volts DC corresponding to full open. So what I believe that means is when the economizer senses that the air is at the proper temperature, it will fully open. And when it does fully open, the power ventilator will come on. So my minimum position sensor, like I said, was set to fully open and my free cool sensor was set to 73 degrees. And today it's about 75 ish. So I believe the economizer was trying to pull in outside air for free cooling. But again, my damper was closed. So I adjusted everything properly. Again, um, I adjusted my free cool down to D here. So it's 63 degrees, I believe. Let me just double check here in my handy dandy manual. Let's 
see, yep, D is 63, A is 73. So we are set to 63 right now on this. Our minimum position is all the way down. Sorry, my hand's in the way right there. Minim minimum position is set all the way down. Our exhaust is set to two volts DC right now. Um, and then with all those settings, as I was adjusting those, my damper never moved. Uh, I could hear the motor whirring. Um, I know I had power to it, but the damper never moved. So I got to kind of looking and I found over here, this little, this little arm going to my damper was broken. So what I believe was going on was my economizer was trying to call for free cooling and it had thought that it was opened up all the way. That is why the power ventilator was coming on. But since the arm was broken off, the damper wasn't opened all the way. So I was essentially just sucking air out of the building, causing my negative pressure. Um, so that's what I believe is going on or was going on. Like I said, I reset everything. I'm gonna uh, let, the, let the customer know what's going on with this economizer, see if they want to uh, submit a quote to repair that, that arm or not. Um, yeah, and we'll go from there. Um, well, like I said, guys, if, if anybody out there is more familiar with these, uh, please leave me some comments. Let me know if I missed something. If you see something that I'm not seeing right now, let me know. I am not real familiar with these, but like I said, luckily there was a manual here. So I was able to get a little bit of information and kind of, kind of solve the problem the best I know how. All right. Alrighty guys. Thanks for watching. Like, and subscribe.